and that's what you've seen before when she's needed to come into the hospital. A trip to the emergency room can be scary enough, but imagine having a sick or injured child and you don't speak the same language as the medical staff. That's a frequent occurrence here in the Seattle Children's ER. Has anyone else been sick at home? And we often will have patients from four or five different nationalities in our emergency department at any one time, many who don't speak English as a language or even as a second language. So everything looks good. Todo se ve muy bien, dice el doctor. The tube is actually in the right position. El tubo está en la posición correcta. Mino Constanzo is one of about 20 staff interpreters at Seattle Children's. Si no veía sangre. Why do you ask if there was blood? Mino or one of his colleagues can be here in the ER within minutes, helping bridge the language and potential cultural differences between the patient, family, and providers. Make sure that uh, communication is flowing and uh, that the families understand uh, what is being done to their children. When I do that, you can see how the families relax and they open up a lot easier than uh, if they didn't ask questions or understand what's going on. It's invaluable. Um, you know, we have families that um, are not English speaking and their child is ill and so they're already under a lot of stress and so to have professional interpretive services here just really helps um, relay information in a much more efficient and clear way and I think it really helps decrease the family's stress and it definitely helps um, with our efficiency. The communication goes both ways. Not only do families need to clearly understand what providers have to say, doctors and nurses also want to understand the concerns and needs of patients and their families in a culturally sensitive way. When we have our on-site interpreters, it allows us to really interpret the cultural differences and find out what the family's really thinking, what they really need beyond just the medical verbiage going back and forth. Seattle Children's provides free interpreter services day and night with in-person interpreters in many languages and has immediate access to telephone interpretation in more than 150 languages and dialects. It's crucial for an ER that covers such a large and diverse population. We have a, just a superb bunch of interpreters who are here 24-7. They come in when we need them. We have some that are in the hospital all the time and then others that come in. And it's amazing because sometimes I'm not even sure where the country is, where the folks are from, but we have an interpreter who speaks that language. And it just makes the care so much better and allows them to really, again, be part of the process and help us with the solution rather than being told what they have to do in a way that they may not understand. It's a job that's very rewarding and at times challenging. The most difficult part for me, it's uh, when I have to deliver bad news to the families. As much as I try to uh, not get involved with the situation, it's, it's, sometimes it's very hard especially with families that are not understanding very well, you know, why their kids get cancer, for instance. Any other questions you want to No, I think no. You know, it's, uh, it's pretty tough sometimes. But then again, uh, there are a lot of good news, too, because uh, kids are very resilient and they, you know, they have this energy to, to get better. And, and the parents are very hopeful, too, and they're very attentive to, to the care that their children need. So uh, there's a lot of good news, too, and that... Uh, very fulfilling. Yeah, that makes me feel great. So I love my job.